Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's TodayInLighting.com, Wednesday, 4 September. We're sponsored by Signify Advance. The name and quality lighting components. Our celebrity shout out this morning goes to Melissa Deutsch Stein of SDA Lighting and Controls. She was featured on the IES NYC Spotlight series. She penned an article, and in the article, she writes about the importance of relationships, decades long relationships. Good morning, Melissa. Here are the stories making news. Yesterday, NEMRA released their Manufacturer of the Future study. It explores key trends and dynamics shaping manufacturer representative relationships, providing insights for the next three to five years. This is an important survey. You can find out more at edisonreport.com. A recent study from PLOS1 shows that high quality LED lighting, meaning high CRI, low CCT, enhances cell health while poor quality LEDs, meaning low CRI, high CCT, harm cell viability and increase oxidative stress. We link to that study at Edison Report. Copper iodide nanoclusters offer a sustainable and healthy lighting solution, providing efficient, stable, and blue light free broadband emission, making them ideal for next generation lighting technologies. In the latest episode of the Get a Grip on Lighting podcast, Jake Waters discusses the lighting industry's challenges, advocating for form factor standards as key to sustainability while sharing his journey in the industry. And Michael Colligan just uh, wrote me and said he's had a lot of response to that video. Lucent Lighting's new sustainable Oculus Mini Luminaire offers high performance, full adjustability, and modular design made from 89% recycled materials, supporting carbon neutrality and circular economy practices. Details at designinglightingglobal.com. Tough day in the market yesterday. The NASDAQ was down 3%. Smart Global, they were down 8.5%. AMS Osram down 6%. Signify and Acuity down 3%. That's it. Go light up the world. Have a great day. Pray for peace.